shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. Makes sense. Couldn't trust the Krogan to play nice. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Trigger, no explosion. We defeat the Krogan and then plant a bomb on their planet. Pretty extreme, but those were desperate times. They did what they had to. Maybe the Turians have more in common with us than I thought. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Cerberus is putting up a fight, but the 9th platoon is advancing, Commander. Good work, Commander. Must 
hasn't been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. I hope Victus knows what he's doing. We won't get a second chance. We gotta move, Shepard. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Close it on the Hornets. Roger that. Agreed, Lieutenant. And all the things behind this. Damn it. for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. Cerberus has to jump on us! We'll catch him. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. I put my team at risk to get you here, Lieutenant. You better deliver. I know what's at stake, Commander. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Damn it! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past it. Clear? Understood. We've got company. We need more time, Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. 
He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and war is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Reeve and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Heck it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You needed another way to keep your pets chained? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. You still didn't tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! The Reapers are out there destroying the galaxy and you want to fight about this? Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Reeve, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Commander? It's over! His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. All right, Commander, I agree. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <clears throat> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. You kept this a secret and then put your son in charge? He couldn't handle it. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the 9th Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. <laughs> you gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. The Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders into their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Hello, Shepard.
I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. Not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Commander? How are you feeling? I'm fine. <coughs> Your test results would suggest otherwise. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't... It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail... I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Or you could keep fighting. I'll always try my best, Shepard. You know that. But if we lost you... We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. The Reapers would have been here years ago if I didn't. I wish motivating everyone else had been as simple. Too bad we never found another Prothean beacon. Haunting the Council with visions of the Reapers might have saved us a few years. Well, anyone who lives through this war won't be short on nightmares. Let's talk later, Shepard. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized Base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. We're cobbling together knowledge from disciplines that take lifetimes to master. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Good to see you again, Shepard. At your service. It's very troubling, Macarian. How can I trust this Primarch of yours if he's hiding bombs on my planet? It's not like he put it there himself. That was a long time ago, Reeve. Ancient history or not, it could have killed my people. You have to let it go. We're never gonna make this alliance work if you keep chasing old ghosts. Most of those ghosts are Krogan. Never forget that. Reeve out. Can I just say, I don't like him much. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. I thought for a second Reeve was going to declare war on us. I don't like him, but I can't exactly blame him. Maybe later. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Hey.
All hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. A new form of Reaper at the Shroud facility, Commander. It's using the tower to poison Tachanka's atmosphere. Cowards! They're afraid to take us head on! Kramark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. You said you'd help. It's time to deliver. What is it you need? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Reeve, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Leaving a small window for dispersing the cure, we'll have to finish synthesizing it at the Shroud itself. Evil need to come with us. Then it's now or never. Now! Today, the Krogan rise again! Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Paddock Wicks has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow the diplomatic pressures of this war to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? No, I don't. The Krogan are too violent, but I don't have a choice here. Then allow me to offer you one. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Paddock will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Reeve believe you fulfilled your promise. Paddock would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. I've spoken with the other clans. They're gathering on our secret meeting ground at the Hollows. We'll rendezvous there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. After today, Krogan's superiority will be obvious to everyone. Your strength was never in doubt, only what you did with it. Commander, you seem troubled. There's just a lot on the line. I want this to go well. Have faith. <clears throat> No matter the adversity we face, some moments are destined to happen. This is one of them. And then the galaxy will have a new power to reckon with. Reeve, it's Dragal Tharak. The Reapers are attacking the Hollows. Be ready for a fight! Hang on tight. We're heading in. Shepard, protect our flank. I'll go pull the other clans out of the fire. Ah! 
Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. Watch it, Inc. Coming. Push forward. Don't let him get up here. Shepard, there's hordes of them over here. Defend that shuttle. Reminds me of the mess on Palavin. will show that Clan Erdnot drew first Reaper blood. No time for bragging. The airstrike is on the way. The female is safe, Commander, but we shouldn't linger. Her vital signs concern me. Who let the Salarian onto Tachanka? They aren't welcome here. Oh dear. More males. There's no time for this. Whatever grudge you have against Salarians ends right now. You agree with this, Reeve? We don't forgive our enemies. And we never will. But the time for revenge doesn't begin until I say it does. Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I don't want to regret curing the genophage. Do you want this or not? Of course they do! serious about avenging the genophage, Reeve. <coughs> it would be a disaster for our people. Our people were made for war. It's what they want. And you need to be the leader who tells them they're wrong. Krogan biology may be made for war, but it's an evolutionary dead end. You must adapt, or face the same fate as your ancestors. And would our ancestors forgive their enemies so easily? What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. And then my people uplifted you. It wasn't an improvement. No, we destroyed Tachanka long before that. Technology had changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. <coughs> Nuclear war was inevitable. Maybe. But that didn't give anyone the right to unleash the genophage on us. If the Reapers were to destroy Earth, I'd never stop avenging the loss. Ever. Spoken like a true Krogan. And how many generations of children would die to satisfy this bloodlust? It's the threat that matters. If our enemies fear even the idea of retribution, we have the power. <coughs> but... What would you do with that power, Reeve? <laughs> that would be telling. There's that look in your eye again, Commander. What's troubling you? Just thinking about Earth. Your courage for my people will be remembered. <laughs> you won't be alone in your fight. Why are we stopping?
Reeve, you and Paddock stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Hurry it up. Stopping like this. Look at that reef. It's the end of the world out there. That's mine, and remember to bring it back when you're done. Make sure your Solarian pet stays in the truck. How are we supposed to fight a war without a road? What's the holdup? Road's out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper already knows we're here. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Damn it. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We're going. Receiving this. Is everyone okay? We're Krogan. We're fine. Direct made it out too. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. What the hell? We'll need a new plan like for dealing with the Reaper. We'll have to find you first. Where are you? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. I'm sure you can figure it out, Shepard. Find a way through, and we'll meet you. Nothing in the galaxy will stop this cure. Well, I guess the Krogan could paint once upon a time. The nuclear war has a way of erasing the past. There it is again. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Reem, are you guys feeling these tremors? Nothing here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Then the last place you want to be is underground, Shepard. Get moving. So, do I really want to know who Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, is? When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Wild Guess says that's Kalros. That's what's crawling around down here? What is that? Don't know. But at least it's dead. It can't be. Shepard, I think we've seen this before. You have? I'll be damned. This looks like some kind of rachni. You gotta be shitting me. But how? You killed that queen on Novaria. This one's different. Mutated. Reeve, those rumors you heard were true. We've got rachni here. Yeah, we're seeing them too. We'll deal with it later. Getting to that shroud is our priority. Agreed. We're trying to find our way out. Looks like light ahead. But now, this is new. Part of Chachanka that isn't rubble. Makes you wonder what the Krogan could have been if they hadn't nuked the place. Reeve, we made it back outside. If you can see the radioactive haze, you're making progress. Check it out. Guess the nukes didn't kill all the plants. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Chachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still disrupting the Shroud. Get out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. Love to know how we're going to deal with the Reaper when we get there.
Ten, we've got movement. Back into the frying pan. I'm kind of glad we're not in the truck. Knowing Reeve, he's probably enjoying this. Heads up! They're back! I'm on it! Commander Reeve is still trying to elude the Thresher Maw. How are you? We're doing what we can! What about you guys? Krogan friend could still be alive. The rat was no friend. Now, let's get moving. We got a Reaper to deal with. I hope somebody has a plan B. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower, I don't know. We're not leaving here until the genophage is cured. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It's not mine, it's hers. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? She need only draw the Reaper away from the tower. That would give us time to synthesize and release the cure. What makes you so sure she'll come? 
Legends say <laughs> she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. Every living thing on this planet knows how to kill, and kill well. Her more than most. We flew through the Omega-4 relay and survived. We can do this. I didn't think a human could have that kind of courage. How would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Solarians thought she would scare away intruders. We got that much right. There are two Maw Hammers there. <laughs> the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. In the meantime, the laboratory is just over there. I can finish synthesizing the cure. We know why we're here and what's at stake. So let's make it happen. Shepard! Try not to get killed up there. Fight like a Krogan and you'll be fine. I can handle them. Go! See you on the other side. We'll have the cure ready shortly, Commander.
you're ready. Yes, it's loaded and set for dispersal. Two minutes and counting. But I'm afraid Eve didn't make it. What happened? Complications from the procedure. There were gaps in Malin's technique I could never account for. She was brave to the end. Despite her pain, she insisted we continue with the cure. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You did what you could. Without her influence, Reeve's ambitions could pose trouble in the future. Time's running out. We must get to the control room at the top of the tower. Why? Something is wrong. Readings indicate a temperature malfunction. It could affect the cure's viability. It's too dangerous, Wix. We need to get out of here. Then leave if you must, but I have to fix this. Temperature variance is getting worse. The cure will almost certainly fail if I don't go up there. I can't let you do that. Why abandon your goal after we've come so far? Unless there's something up there you don't want me to discover. The malfunction is no accident. You knew about this! The Dalatras offered me a deal. Her support for the Crucible Project if I made sure the cure didn't work. And you're thinking of taking it? My own world is hanging on by a thread. I have to consider every option. Committing genocide to stop another genocide merely ensures no one is left alive. My own path is clear. I have to fix this. Why is this so important to you? Some souls die in battle. Some die in their sleep. And some die for no reason at all. This is my chance to die for what I believe. Wix, I think the Dalatras was right. We're about to make a huge mistake here. Don't do it. Why? We didn't come all this way to quit now. We're not quitting. We're being smart. Can we really trust Erd, not Reeve, not to start another war? Possibly had Eve survived the procedure, but with her death, it's doubtful. Then hold off. Now isn't the time for the cure. I suppose it's not the future Eve would have wanted for her people. But for the sake of your alliance, the Krogan must believe we were successful. Let them think I died ensuring the cure was dispersed. Thank you. No, Commander. Thank you. I was so consumed by solving the problem, I didn't think about whether the problem was worthy of a solution at all. Goodbye, and best of luck. the void, we commit her body. In life, this Krogan faced our greatest enemy with rare valor. In death, she has proven a savior to her people. May her courage fan the flames of hope for the future. She is now the true mother of Tachanga.
Wouldn't be a war without a funeral. Her hopes for Krogan and Lightman weren't very realistic. This might spare her the disappointment of seeing that. If her death inspires a few Krogan to try harder, so be it. I'll take anything that gives us an edge. But it was a shame about Paddock Wicks. You mean up on the tower? For someone who wasn't Krogan, you showed surprising courage. But history can't show a Solarian curing the Genophage. Then who did? The only Krogan who was left standing. I may end up being more famous than you, Shepard. No matter. You lived up to your word, now I'll do the same. Tell the Turians we're more than happy to come show them how to win a war. The Krogan already killed one Reaper, didn't we? Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Reef has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. And the Solarians? How did you manage to get them on board? Careful diplomacy. Ah. Uh, I don't think I want to know what that means. Doesn't matter. You're starting to put together a real alliance out there. Good work, Commander. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Reeve has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. We're going to need you. Don't forget where we live. Never. It's clear we all fight together, or die. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. <laughs>